क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स विल डू नाउ वन क्वेश्चन ऑफ वर्टिकल बैलेंस शीट वेर वी कम एक्रॉस आइटम्स लाइक टी डी एस ट्रेड इन्वेस्टमेंट हाउ टू गिव इफेक्ट टू देम दैट विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन दिस क्वेश्चन लेट एस गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन following our balances as on 31st march 2014 in the books of accounts of ratnagiri mango products limited you are required to prepare vertical balance sheet for financial analysis from the same tds tax deducted at source on staff salaries 25000 this will be part of current liability here staff salary is an expense of business for company it's an expense for employees it's income as per income tax rule company is required to deduct income tax from the salaries which is actually payable by employees is deducted from the salaries and directly paid by company to income tax department employees get tax credit for those salaries which are paid which are deducted from their salary amounts so that is tds on staff salaries is a current liability that is amount payable by company to the government share issue expenses this is fictitious asset this will be deducted from reserves and surplus land and building fixed assets tangible 10% debentures part of borrowed fund this is a secured loan trade investments now what is trade investment trade investment means compulsory investment when we are running a business we may require to make certain compulsory investment by the government or by the laws which are required to be made by business to continue its business activity therefore such amounts are indicated as what trade investment for example we may require to keep deposit of 10 lakh or 20 lakhs with the government department on this deposit we may be getting very small amount of interest or even no interest so those investments are required to be made if we require to run our business or if we require to keep our licenses active we are required to keep this deposit with the government so this is called as what trade investment so it will be considered as a long term investment creditors current liability quick plant and machinery fixed assets calls in arrears this will be deducted from the share capital profit and loss account credit balance surplus is part of reserves and surplus patents fixed assets intangible stock current asset non quick debtors current asset quick equity share capital part of shareholders fund share capital bank overdraft current liability non quick first part of the balance sheet is sources of funds in sources of funds we'll have first shareholders fund in shareholders fund first item we have share capital equity share capital is given 5 lakhs and here we have calls in arrears 10000 so calls in arrears will be deducted from equity share capital equity share capital 5 lakh minus calls in arrears 10000 4 lakh 90000 is paid up share capital to this will be adding reserves and surplus profit and loss account credit balance 3 lakh 85000 is reserves and surplus from this we are required to deduct any fictitious asset here we have share issue expenses 20000 profit and loss account 3 lakh 85000 less fictitious asset we have share issue expenses 
this will be deducted from 385,000. So we got 365,000. This will be added to share capital to arrive at shareholders fund. So shareholders fund we got 855,000. Next is borrowed fund. We have 10% debentures that is borrowed fund. Amount is rupees 3 lakhs. <coughs> shareholders fund 8,55,000. Borrowed fund 3 lakhs. We can add them to arrive at total capital employed. Total capital employed 11,55,000. We have completed first part of the balance sheet. We'll go to the now second part of the balance sheet. In application of funds, we'll have first fixed assets. Land and building 5 lakhs. Plant and machinery 3,70,000. Patents which is an intangible fixed asset 50,000. Land and building 5 lakhs. Plant and machinery 3,70,000. Total tangible assets 8,70,000. In case of intangible fixed asset, we have patents 50,000. We can take total of fixed assets 9,20,000 total fixed assets. Next, long term investments. We have trade investments, long term investment rupees 2 lakhs. Next, we have working capital. In working capital, first we have current assets. Current assets are of two types quick and non quick. First, we'll consider quick current assets. Debtors 9,25,000 is quick current asset. Stock 4,35,000 is non quick current asset. Debtors stock, these are the two current assets we are required to consider. Debtors 9,25,000, non quick category we have stock. 4,35,000 we can add all current assets it is 13,60,000 from this we are required to deduct current liabilities TDS on staff salaries is a current liability which is quick liability creditors is a current liability it's a quick current liability bank overdraft is a non quick current liability creditors 880000 total quick liability is 95000 next non quick bank overdraft 420000 is a non quick current liability we can add all current liabilities 1325000 ,00. this will be deducted from the current assets so we got working capital 35,000. Now we'll calculate total assets. Fixed assets 9,20,000. Investments 2 lakhs. These will be added. To this we'll be adding working capital 35,000. Total assets 11,55,000. Total capital employed 11,55,000. That means both the part of balance sheet are equal. That means we have correctly done vertical balance sheet. In this question, we learn how to give treatment to specific items like trade investments, TDS on staff salaries, etc. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikida and subscribe to our channel Ikida. Thank you.